Thank you. I'm running for city council because our city is struggling and we have to change that. School board president, I came to the understanding that our school's fortunes rise and fall with our city's economy. And that's when I realized that I needed to bring my skills to the city council to help change the direction of San Leandro and get us moving forward again. Our city is struggling because our economy is stalled. Now, if you improve the economy, you improve those things that matter to us most. Safer streets, decent roads, thriving retail, successful schools. Our city's economy is the single most important driver of what we all care and are concerned about. Fortunately, we have an opportunity before us to change the direction of San Leandro. San Leandro, our new high-speed fiber optic loop, courtesy of Patrick Kennedy. And that gives us a fighting chance, not a guarantee, but a chance to dramatically change the course of our economy. Unfortunately, we don't have the leadership we need, and our future is slipping through our fingers. You know, this is the greatest opportunity our city has seen in a generation, and we are already a year behind. Don't just ask me. Ask the Chamber of Commerce that has chosen to endorse me over my opponent. I want to see a thriving San Leandro that benefits from the fiber loop that draws new businesses, enables great retail, and creates desperately needed jobs. I will actively pursue partnerships so that as these companies succeed, we all do. We must guarantee Lit San Leandro directly benefits the people of our city, and we need a council member with the initiative to grasp that opportunity or we will miss out. But we can't ignore our budget problems either. Our city budget is balanced on the back of a temporary tax on the people of San Leandro. By taxing you with Measure Z, city has increased revenue, but you don't see our services being restored because it's all being absorbed by a ballooning pension liability, currently at $70 million. The Daily Review, which strongly endorsed me for City Council, said that this is a problem our current council member doesn't even understand. This concerns me, and it should concern you. I live here with my two daughters who go to San Leandro Public Schools. San Leandro's success is as important to me as it is to you. I'm asked to represent you on City Council. I have a proven track record. In my first term in office, I brought an elected body together and built consensus to achieve great things for our city and our schools. I brought over $200 million in union construction to San Leandro, raised accountability of our administration, and balanced the budget all four years during the worst fiscal crisis that our schools have ever faced. City council terms are four years, and every four years we get to choose the best person for the job. The council member from District 2 has not earned a second term. We can't afford complacency any longer. That's why I'm running for office, and I seek your vote in November. Thank you. Good evening. As your council member for the past four years, and as your former vice mayor, I've made it my top priority to build consensus among diverse communities, to find workable solutions, and to listen to my community members. I've helped move San Leandro forward with increased economic development, more job opportunities, and an improved quality of life. We've balanced our budget, opened a new senior community center, moved forward with new developments, create jobs, and grow our economy, like the Kaiser Project and the Fiber Loop Project reducing blight and improving our downtown with the development of the old Albertson site. Going forward, you can count on me to focus on expanding economic development, increasing public safety, and revitalizing our neighborhoods. I'll pursue private-public partnerships to offset the lack of state funding, work towards compatible shoreline development, and increase police technology and I'm currently working to save San Leandro Hospital. My past service includes working as a school teacher, a principal, and a library commissioner. I'm also chair of the County Housing Commission and a County Fire Commissioner. I'm supported by Senator Majority Leader Ellen Corbett, Mayor Emeritus Sheila Young. I'm supported by the firefighters and the police officers unions. I want to make sure you understand that when I started in this position four years ago, we were in the worst economic downturn. 
houses were, were losing value, and then we lost our redevelopment money. With all that, we passed Measure Z, and we're able to keep, and I thank you all for that, because without the community passing Measure Z, we wouldn't have a balanced budget right now. We haven't been getting help from the state. But we came up with a, a solution, albeit temporary, but we're using this time to work out what can we do next. And the main thing, to look at pension reform. I am for pension reform, and I want you to know that the city and the labor unions are negotiating right now. I believe that things need to change, and I know that they will. We also need to bring the development of businesses to our community. Thank you very much. All right, first and foremost, uh, forgive me, I have a cold, so if I start coughing, but the number one reason that I'm running is because I've been asked by people in the community, folks like you have come to me two years ago and asked me and, to, and, and actually was demanding from me, please, Dan, you need to run, you, you need to fight against you know, what's going on at City Hall. So if you're, if you're happy with the state of your city, I'm not the guy for you. But if you're unhappy, if you're unhappy that they, the city purchased the Albertsons building for six, uh, $6 million dollars and sold it for two under three, then I'm your guy because I won't allow that kind of stuff to happen. I'm not gonna give breaks to Kaiser, um, you know, billion dollar uh, development and, and we're not getting any taxes. So if you're happy, no, I'm not your guy. But if you're unhappy and you're ready for true change, then I'm your guy. Uh, the status quo must go. And what I mean by that, the process is completely wrong here in this town. For decades, uh, uh, maybe 30, 40, 50 years, staff at City Hall has been creating the policy instead of you, the people. You, the people, are the ones that we need to represent. So I'm here to represent you, fighting for your rights. You know, I'm, uh, it, it's time for a fundamental change. And really, it's so sad that we have to change because if things were going the right way and if people were being respected what we wanted, then I may not be here, and I'd be cheering on those elected officials who are doing the, the right and tough job. So, you know, accountability, transparency is important to me. Um, I have personally suffered injustices in this town. I'm sure some of you have read some of the things in, in the local paper of the things that I've personally been through. And I've had other businesses, other homeowners come to me and say they've experienced those too. So I want to be that voice. I want to be that champion for the people. I think it's imperative that we have out-of-the-box thinking. Um, you know, we don't need necessarily more police officers from, you know, from San Leandro PD. How about we start thinking out of the box? We have Highway Patrol already patrolling our streets. We have BART police patrolling our streets. We have the sheriffs patrolling our streets. And we have San Leandro PD. I think it's time that the people formed a review oversight board of all of those agencies that operate in our city. And we take advantage of those resources and start using them. Also, we're not a broke city. You hear about the city budget all the time, but really the comprehensive annual financial report is truly where our money lies, and this city is not broke. We have a, almost a half a billion dollars in assets, and we have money that can be shuffled. Uh, you know, some people may not like what I'm gonna say, but really it's a, it's, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shell game. We have funds that could be moved. If you want more money spent on the senior center or for seniors, we can do it. It's just the will of the people. I need you guys to stand with me. I need you to stand with, with whoever is elected, and we need to work together. You don't vote for us once. We need you calling us and being there and motivating us and supporting us to get the job done, because it's not your job and it's not my job, it's our job. Thank you.